Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. I do create live style content videos, videos related to my sister locks and other sorts of content. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment down below. So today I have a sit down video for you guys. It's gonna be a real relaxed, chill video. Nothing, you know, nothing too serious but we are going to be talking about masoma okay so lately on the internet i've been seeing everybody doing their jewelry collection video and i'm not mad i'm not hating um if that's something that you all are interested in leave me a comment down below i can always put together a nice little video for you guys but today we are here to review masoma and the reason why i am doing this is because I too fell for the hype. I'm not even gonna lie. Masoma actually um, hit the World Wide Web real hard in I think 2021 during the 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 COVID era. Masoma hit the ground running. Everybody was on Masoma. Masoma is a London jewelry. Well, it's a London sustainable jewelry brand based in. I just said London. No mind. Anyway, they hit the ground running in 2020. Yeah, 2020. Everybody was talking about Masoma. They were sending out their PR packages. All of the major influencers that I follow were talking about Masoma. And so I was interested. I'm not even gonna lie. I was on that bandwagon of trying to get my pieces. So long story short, of course, I didn't buy in 2020. I didn't buy in 2021, but in 2022, I was like, okay, you need to start investing in sustainable pieces. You need to upgrade your jewelry collection because everything that I had at that time was from like H&M or Target. And there's nothing wrong with H&M and Target, to be honest. I mean, in fact, I have on a pair of um, earrings right now from H&M. So, that's hence why we're doing this video. So I was like, you need to invest in your jewelry collection. You need to upgrade. So that's what I did. So I decided to um, purchase my Masoma pieces. I want to say it was winter. I want to say it was around like February. Yeah, I want to say it was February. So I, I've had the pieces for 12 months now. I decided to go ahead and get pieces. I originally went to Masoma because I wanted to do the stack. They had like this, um, it was necklace, it was like a necklace set, I think. And they were like stackables, you know, that whole era of the stacking of the, you know, the necklaces. So that's what I originally went there for, but I ended up coming across two pair of earrings. So I did an unboxing for them and immediately after I received my pieces, I started wearing them. I mean, I wore them down okay i wore them with everything i wore them to brunch i wore them to work i wore them on date night i wore them I, honestly you know what wait did i get them i wore them everywhere i was like i'm going to use these earrings they both cost me anywhere between 120 i got 25 percent off because I took advantage of a promotion that they were running at the time, but I spent about 270 for both pair of earrings. So I wanted to get my cost per wear and I wore them out until, until one of the earrings, which happens to be the waffle hoop, bent. I don't know what happened. I don't remember dropping it. I don't remember, I don't remember anything happening out of the norm that would cause the earring to bend. So the piece that actually you insert in your ear, I'm not sure what that's called. I probably should have looked that up before I got into the video, but hey, we're already here. So we're gonna roll with it. It bent. And um, at first I was like, okay, let me see if I can fix it. So I ended up getting some scissors and I was able to bend the little piece back. And then I noticed that the part where it closes, like the, the clasp, it was bent. So I'm like, what in the hell is going on? Why, like what's wrong with my earrings? Why are they bending like this? So I ended up getting that piece open. So long story short, after I manipulated the pieces, it was kind of difficult for me to open and close the earring, but I was able to wear them. Strike number two was when the other piece here, was now a straight piece <laughs> so i'm like okay 
So now it's closing, but now this piece is no longer a loop and it's just like this and it also has like a bent, uh, like it's indented. So I'm like, okay, that's kind of messing up my flow because the purpose of them putting that little loop there is so that it fits comfortable on your ear because of how the earring is made. And keep in mind the, the waffle hoop, it's not heavy, but it's also not light. So you kind of need that support. So I'm like, okay, strike number two. Strike number three for me with Masoma was literally about four weeks ago. I'm out to brunch with one of my girls. My earring falls out. And when I picked it up to put it back in, I couldn't close it. So I say all that to say this. While I think Masoma is a popular brand and I think the pieces that they sell are popular among a lot of people here on the internet. For me, as a, as a consumer, as someone who actually bought their pieces, I was not gifted anything. I am a bit disappointed and a little underwhelmed at the fact that I've had these pieces for 12 months. They're supposed to be sustainable and I no longer wear them. I have literally had my Masoma pieces sitting in my jewelry box for maybe four to six months and I have not worn them. So for me, I just find it a bit frustrating that I spent my coin on a jewelry brand that was supposed to be sustainable and I am back to wearing my H&M hoops that cost me like $24. So that's where I am right now. I'm not, you know, me personally, I'm not seeking anything from Masoma, but if they want to reach out and send me a few pieces for the, for the free, of course I'll accept. Who wouldn't? Um, I don't see myself buying any jewelry from them again. I have considered getting a layered necklace set because I really do like the layered necklaces. I'm not even gonna hold you on that. But as far as purchasing earrings from them, not right now. Um, if anything, maybe I'll try to switch a different to a different style. Maybe the closure, the clasp is just not not for me. But I am very disappointed in the fact that I don't wear those earrings and it cost me like two seventy, three hundred dollars. I'm just gonna be honest. Um, so yeah, that is my honest review. Um, <laughs> I'm not really trying to, I'm not trying to come down on anybody. I just think that it's important as a content creator, especially those of us who share our lives. We share everything on this channel. You know, we share the good, the bad, and the, and the ugly, okay? And if I'm gonna introduce something to you all, I would at least like to tell you how I feel about it now that I have had time to sit with it, use it, wear it, so on and so forth. And I just think that Masoma kind of missed the mark when it comes to their earrings, at least these two. I haven't purchased anything from them since. Maybe they made a, uh, you know, a change or they switched up, you know, how they're creating their pieces in terms of the earrings. But last time I checked, which was this morning, they still look the same. So I'm gonna leave that where it is. If you are interested in either earring, I will leave them down below. It is not an affiliate link, but if you would like to take a look at Masoma's pieces, these two pieces in particular, be feel free, do you. Who am I? No one to stop you. So that's all that I have for you all right now. I did not intend for this video to be too long, but I did wanna do my spin on you know, the whole jewelry collection. Like I said earlier, if that is something that you all are interested in, be sure to drop me a comment down below and I will catch you babes in my next video. Peace for now, bye.